Welcome back everyone, it's Modern Monk here, and we are getting to that time, you know, we are getting to that time. It's currently, it's currently raining right now and it's 9, it's about 9.30 p.m. And the rain is just very, it's very soothing and very, very relaxing. It's like, to just be here, you know, I'm trying to just soak it all in, I'm trying to just soak everything here in, because you have to remember that things change, things aren't always going to stay the same. People in your life aren't always going to be there in your life. And there's this uh, sort of, there's this saying in Stoicism, and it's, uh, it goes me by Memento Mori, Memento Mori, and it, goes, it pretty much means along the lines of remember your death, right? Remember your death, remember the temperance of all things. Remember that everything, everybody, everything in this realm of form is temporary. So really just don't see that as like a, like a depressing thing, like, oh, remember your death, like as if it's something to fear, but rather see it as the, almost as if it's the last time that you're seeing what you're seeing. You know, and this really helps you bring in that presence into the, your interactions. Like, we we take for granted so much what has kind of become just routine, what has just become part of the daily activities. You you take for granted uh, relationships that you've had for so long. You take relationships that you've had with your parents or your siblings. But if you can understand that, for instance, like your mother is not going to be there in your life forever, and the time that you do have with her, the time that you do have with your mom, your dad, your siblings, really just be present there with them and, and really see it almost as if it is the last time that you are seeing them. And with that, it, you get to see them with fresh eyes, and it's... It's it is it's it's a incredible thing, you know. It, it is an incredible thing, and this is something that I've been incorporating into my life lately, especially right now. It, I it feels as though, especially going getting ready to go to Nantucket this Friday, which is well, it's Wednesday now, so I have Thursday, and then I'm leaving on Friday, so a day and a half, and. It is quite possible, you know, the possibility of not seeing anyone again is there, you know, and, and really trying to just soak in everything in my environment, everybody that's around me, every, everything, every noise, you know, just the personality of each place, the energy of each place and like the what that town or that location has to offer and the people around it and just be there with it all. I'm excited. I am. I am excited. This is this is one of the first years where I've gone onto this island with out like the clearest clearest mindset in terms of what exactly it is that I'm going to be doing out there. It is very much so that I'm going in there with an open mind. I have, of course, my intentions and my goals lined out, but at this point in my life, I'm at this point where I'm just kind of trusting the process and trusting that as long as I align myself with my goals, my intentions, and I affirm with myself and I make those prayers and I truly believe that what I put out there is on its way to me and I just need to simply reach out and grab it. 
as simply as going out to your front door and taking the mail out of the mailbox. And I want to approach the summer and I guess really the rest of my life with that sort of ease, with that sort of a state of flow. To just be able to trust that the events that happen, happen for you, you know, versus events in your life happening to you. If you see that events happen to you, you see you when when something that can be easily perceived as something bad, you you think, "Oh, poor me! Why did this have to happen to me?" But when you view things that everything happens for you, and the events that occur are part of the process on your journey to get you to where you want to be, or you can learn from it, then it's a win-win situation. The events that would have easily been perceived as something bad has now been switched into something that you can learn from. This is happening for me. It's to teach me something. It's either, you know, the, the saying goes, everything in life is either a blessing or a lesson. And if you approach life with that mentality, then there's no losing. It's, it's like a cheat code, you know? It's this cheat code of invincibility because what's the very worst thing that can happen is that one day we will die you know and that's that in the grand scheme of things that's not so bad it's not so bad so when you view things as everything is a blessing or a lesson you either are grateful for the good that comes and know and know that that moment too shall pass just as the bad news, the, the perceived bad news, the, the lesson, that event too shall pass. So you don't get caught up in any one thing and identifying yourself with that event in time. And this is more of the mentality that I'm bringing it with me this summer. I want to bring a sort of open, loving, but intense energy with me, you know, onto the island. A very intentional energy, of uh, an energy of manifesting and trusting, and openness, and just a, a Doing uh, uh, the perfect sort of balance between doing and receiving the sort of perfect balance between the masculine energy of, of, of Achievement and doing and then the feminine energy of receiving, you know I think that that's very important and that's something that I've lacked throughout my life is to be able to sort of open up my arms and open up my heart to be able to receive what God what the universe has to offer for me. I've always been in this sort of this masculine mentality always do 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 hustle 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 you got to keep going but if you look at the results the results have never been quite uh quite different like I always seem to end up getting the same results. And there's a there's a saying that Insanity is doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result. So really the language of truth is the language of results. So you have to look and you can and you can only see this looking back when you have the the power and the ability of hindsight. So when you look back and you see the results, that's the truth. That is that is the truth. So from there you can fine tune. You see, it, now you see everything as a lesson or a blessing. It's like, maybe the scale was tipped too much this way. It's about finding that equilibrium, that state of flow. And once you find that state of flow, the perfect balance between the masculine energy of doing, that masculine energy of that raw intensive drive of just getting shit done and then that more feminine energy of creativity of 
receiving of, of openness and love. And, and you're able to navigate through life in that equilibrium state. And this is when things begin to start truly working in your favor. This is when you start manifesting the, the reality and, and the life that you want for yourself. There's a, I haven't read the book yet, but I've looked a lot into the teachings. There's a book called Reality Transurfing. And one thing that I just want to mention is and bring up out of the book is they talk about this, this state of flow and, and going through the state of flow and how achieving everything is not a difficult task. It is just a matter of really choosing, choosing your destiny. And the things that you place importance on, if you place too much importance on, there's going to be a counterbalancing force, which balances that to bring you back into equilibrium. And when you place too much emphasis on one thing, let's say your finances, this is when you're going to start to see problems in your finances. When you place too much emphasis on uh, relationships, you're going to have problems in relationships. So anything that you place too much importance and too much meaning on is the very thing that you are not going to be able to achieve and, and, a, and to receive in your life. It's this mentality of placing something on a pedestal. And any time you place something on a pedestal in your mind, you have, you have created it as if it is unobtainable to you, as if you are not worth it, as if it is higher than you. So, therefore, when you place the importance on it, it creates this counteracting balance force of energy to bring it back to an equilibrium state. And the real, the real test is to be able to know that you can stay in this equilibrium state, and, and this is really the only way to truly manifest anything, is to be in the equilibrium state of flow, and just line yourself up with your intentions and trust that the process and the, your subconscious and the, the universal oneness, the universal collective consciousness has that omnipresent, all-knowing ability to see what you cannot see with your conscious mind and your conscious, just your eyes. So that's what I want to say about that. Um, Again, just to wrap everything up, what I want to just say is to not take things for granted, to not take this moment for granted, to not take your friends for granted, to not take your family for granted, to not take the opportunity to work and make money for granted, to truly just see things as if it is the last time you are seeing it. and what that really does for your perception in the now. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that talk. That is it for now. Have a rest of a uh, good evening. Enjoy.